have an idea what you're looking at? Yes, it looks like a magnified spark plug. That's the size of it. I'm going to have a little fun with the, what's called heat range, adjusting heat ranges in an engine. This is what one, it's an eight-cylinder engine, and that's what one half of this plug looks like. This is a champion product. As I rotate it, you see that, huh, carbon's built up on one side, more so than the other. Let's take a look at this side of it, the face of it. Give me a second here. So you can see carbon's all down inside that guy there. Okay. Let's grab another one. We we'll grab another one. Huh. This one looks nice. Err. Start rotating. There's your carbon built up. Build up. Not burning off. So higher heat range, I think, is going to help out with this. This is a 14 heat range. I'm actually going to jump to a 5 and monitor it. This is interesting. This is the different cylinders, I think, uh, require different heat ranges. for burning off, etc. Part of my thinking of that is that the exhaust gases aren't equally leaving the, the vehicle um, as they have different turns, etc. Back pressure, as I call it. Um, and so, you, therefore, you're getting, a, you're getting one that can hold more, more uh, it doesn't, get, doesn't get a good burn. Because no sooner does it leave out the the mixture is is what I'm driving at. The mixture is a terrible mixture because it doesn't exhaust all the gases pro, uh, fully or as best it can. Rather, it does it as best as can, but not as fully as it could be. I'm thinking that instead of matching all spark plugs are not should not be the same on an engine. I think they should be based on different on the different uh, cylinder as it talks to you. As it tells you what it's doing. Now, this Champion spark plug, I am not a fan of. This, I, I, I think, is a, is a wipeout. I mean, look at this thing. It like it burns to one side, and the other side, it leaves. Uh, oh well, tough luck. I mean, look at that. It's amazing to look at it up close, right? To see the clarity of it. That your spark plug, when we look down at it, just says, "Oh, the spark." In general, with our eyes, we say, "Oh, the spark plug." It just looks like that as we rotate it. But under a microscope, you can really see what's going on. Is that, oh no, the spark plug is experiencing some weird stuff going on and imbalance. And you know me about equilibrium, love equilibrium. So this would be imbalance. So Champion now makes it to the bottom of my list. And you're looking at a spark plug with less than 2,000 miles on it with a new coil. New wires, new plugs, um, tuned engine, everything. Uh, and that's the result that we're looking at. These plugs are all over the place. Um, and with the exception of, I think, one that's kind of nice looking. And you would say, well, that's the coil. Of, no, no, it's based on cylinder location, which I'm going to play with. But this, I need something to play it around fairly that's going to burn evenly. So right now I'm going to try the next next spark plug. I'm going to put a thousand miles on it and give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe I'll go back to Champion and give them a fair shot at a thousand miles. I'm going to change about every thousand miles. So uh, you guys can play along. And this will be round one of uh, Champion spark plugs that look like. Ooh, that looks nice until you rotate. And you see it's got a bad burn on that one back side. Wow. Let me check the number on that. Number seven. Yeah, I didn't do anything with that one. So you so for example, that one, a five might be too much for this one. For this is number seven cylinder. But we'll find out because now I know what I mark these. So this is a seven, so I'll know what it looks like in a thousand miles if it's uh burning too high, if it's burning up the burning itself up or not. And I'll show you different indicators of that in the video. We won't we won't just trust online data as far as images. We'll have the real deal. Microscopic. Take care.